When you're at this rank, you need to appeal to your audience. You're already really, really good at aim, right? There's a couple of hic hiccups here and there, but if you've got that raw mechanic skill, we just gotta retool your brain to be more successful. We're also gonna talk about the difference between an on angle and an off angle. It is a 4v1. The only way that Viper gets back into this round is if you do what you're doing right now. That you're not allowed to say that was luck unlucky. That was not unlucky, all right? That was premeditated. I'm sitting here going, Whoa! The safest and easiest way to interpret and win rounds is this by- Hello, my name is Worthy, a professional Valorant coach. If you're looking to climb the ranks and improve your overall gameplay, you definitely want to leave a like and a sub and enjoy the video. We're also going to talk about the difference between an on angle and an off angle. Do you know what that is? Do you know what an on angle yeah. is? Cool. What yeah. is an on angle? It's one of the common angles that you, that normal people peek, I guess. And uh, off angle is like just an uncommon angle. Yeah. So the, I love using this example. I do it all the time, right? This here is an off angle. This here is an on angle. When you're peeking into an on angle, there's a certain um, principle that you need to follow when you're peeking into it. Because the thing is, when you're walking out into this and you're shooting or you're holding this angle, they're going to automatically cross or place your head at this position. That's an on angle. Now, when you're looking at an off angle, the reason why this is an off angle is that there are a million places that they could be looking at for a crosshair placement. Okay, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be here, it could be over here. There's a million different spots. So they have a one, two, three, four, five, six, one in six chance of crosshair placing you perfect. That's why when you peek out into an angle like this, for example, right here, and you shoot into this one, you have a much higher chance of winning because you know where they are, but they have to completely guess where you are, right? Yeah. So that's an, that's important to understand because when you're on defense, you want to take as many advantageous fights as possible. You don't want to take disadvantageous fights if you can avoid it, okay? Peeking into yep. five people here is clearly disadvantageous. So is this an on angle or an off angle right now? This is an on angle. Okay, when you are holding an on angle, you must peek in and out from cover. The reason for this is that if someone swings you properly, which they won't in this rank, you don't get punished enough, by the way. If they swing you properly, if you're playing against me, I'm gonna move up here, and then I'm gonna do something called the T protocol, which is going to be to swing out to the right directly, okay? For, you, for your right, for their left. And my crosshair placement's going to be, guess what? Right on your head, right on your head, yeah. looking right at you. You will not win that fight. Okay? I don't care how good you think you are. The reason for this is that I will have ping. I will have latency to the server. The server is trying mm -hmm. to interpret my movements. So I'll be able to see you before the server interprets where I'm going to go and what what's going to predict. So you will not have the reaction time for it and I will have a shot on you. If I don't miss, I win that fight. If I miss, you get a chance to shoot back. That's what it would look like. Now, okay. <laughs> when you are playing in this level you need to be extremely clear about what your intention is and what you're trying to do because people are not going to predict what you're going to do when you're playing in a higher rank someone seeing you throwing a wall they're going to instantaneously come in behind you because they know that you're going on an execution the rest of these guys are just going to sit here and, and be main and watch you do it oh he's just right? trying to check <laughs> yeah now, your jet is actually halfway intelligent because I think she ends up cluing in here. But what you need to do is say, I'm walling across, I'm going in, okay? And you can do this okay. at the beginning. You can do this in your buy phase. The most important part of the round is the buy phase because you can tell everyone what your intention is. And if you did that ahead of time, I bet you this KJ wouldn't be sitting here trying to test a trap, right? <laughs> Getting in your way. Yeah, She'd be like, oh, she's go he's going for it. I want to make sure I support. Okay, so I want you here. I'm gonna do this again really quick and okay. I'm going to calm for you. Okay, I'm moving in. I'm moving in, moving in. in can you, can you move, move out of the way? Thank Hello? you. Oh, I'm going in first. I'm going in first. I'm gonna throw the wall up, okay? I'm going in. Well, relay bolt out, relay bolt out. I'm all, okay, I'm rolling in. Moving in, moving in. Follow me, follow me, bait me, bait me, bait me. Notice how I say bait me, bait me, bait me. When you're at this rank, you need to appeal to your audience, okay? These people <laughs> love stats. I know you love stats too. You like getting yep. frags on the board. So when you say bait me, people go, oh, free kills? Okay, I'll run in, no problem, right? 
that kind yeah. of stuff helps so much. Luckily, your team is is replying properly to you going in and doing this, nice but save, this will not thing. happen in in other Dude, games. Nice trade. Uh, yeah. Let's listen to the things that you miss yeah, calming yeah, here. So in 10 seconds, we're gonna see a calm that you miss here, and it's gonna cause one of your teammates to die. Okay. Okay. Let's go back a bit. Where's KJ? KJ is currently uh, CC. Well, we we know that because we've seen it before, but we also know that she's close by because she popped utility, so she has to be close, right? Yeah. There. You just heard a step. Did you hear that? Yes. Okay. Right away, calm. CT. CT. One CT. That should give her give her away as well because of the turret. This is on yeah. KJ at this point, but you could still make that calm regardless. Make sense? Yes. 3v2. Okay, this is gonna be the first number situation we're gonna talk about. 3v2 situation. Whenever you're in a number situation like this, you need to start switching your mentality. Because if you give up a frag, you even out the numbers, you even out the percentage chance of them winning this round, especially pre-planned, right? So this is where you actually need to slow things down a little bit because you're running an awful risk when you play aggressive here. They are looking for that opportune moment, that one frag that they can get to be able to set themselves up for a chance to win here. So don't give them freebies. This is gonna be a consistent issue that you have throughout the entire bot. So like I said before, there are times you are aggressive. There are times you must go passive. This is a passive moment. So as we're going through this situation right now, you got the, the one kill. You can pull, you can totally just pull back right now. You guys don't have to go for the frag. This round we talk about calming your, your pathing and attack plan again. Okay, okay, whoa, okay. I can see that you are just like itching to go right now. You know why? <laughs> you know I'm, why? Uh, you are, yes, I do. I've never seen someone quick switch so much in my life. Like, look, look at this, look at this. One, <laughs> two, three, four, five. Like, <laughs> I need you to breathe, okay? I need you to breathe <laughs> in these moments because, yeah, there's going to be moments where you have to go a little slower, okay? First thing I'm going to look at here, once again, look at the number situation. What do we got right now? 5v4. 5v4. Whenever you're in a 5v4 situation, my recommendation is always to attack the extremities. The reason being is you will win on pure attrition. Attrition is just pure numbers. So if we have five people over here and they have four, they're in a weakness. They have a little bit of a weaker situation. They have to spread out a little bit. They got to get information. They're going to probably play, play relatively aggressive on you to try to equalize the numbers. So what you can do is since all of you were spotted or heard over here, they're probably stacking three towards this spot. Rotate out, go all the way around and just attack B at this point. If you all go together, through an extremity the furthest left point or the furthest right point you will keep the enemy in front of you more often than not and the worst case scenario you'll end up trading out deaths and you'll end up winning with one person alive so just think of it logically like that to say hey do we go b here question mark you can even say right now there's probably three on a and there probably will be at this point there's your third one on a there's probably two more on a at this point the other one's going to be mid in a few seconds. There's one mid on uh, tree or back gen. What are the two? Okay. So see how you didn't calm any of this? You just ran out with utility. Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Look at where your teammates are. They're not ready to trade you right away. So they're just watching you go in. They're hoping. You're doing something called gladiator. We used to do this all the time back in uh, a game called combat arms where we're like, okay, the strat is we're all going to sit and spawn, but we're going to have this guy go first and see if he can kill all five. <laughs> Not the greatest strat. We did it for fun, right? <laughs> Who's going to be the guy who kills everybody, right? They're only now just getting in, and Jet's only up here because she dashed in, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's like you need to be alert on this stuff. Yeah. The safest and easiest way to interpret and win rounds is just by looking up your scoreboard at the top of your screen and say, okay, we're up numbers. I don't need to do anything. 
I can put my feet up, relax, and let them come to me and just serve me, my friends. Those are going to be more consistent ways of winning rounds. Scoreboard assessment is so important. When you go into a round, you press your tab, you figure out what they're going to do, and you pay attention to all the options so that you know what to expect. Right? For example, Queen, this is a bad smoke. The reason being is that someone can creep right up on you with a shorty and shoot you in the face from Pop Dog. Let's see if you cleared out Pop Dog. I don't know if you did. You didn't clear it. Okay, so you see one right here? There could be one behind you too. This is an angle that they will likely play on a, on a round like this where it's an eco. You gotta be very careful of that. You're learning really bad habits, Queen. What is the situation right now? It is a 4v1. The only way that Viper gets back into this round is if you do what you're doing right now. I sincerely hope for your benefit that you get punished here and you die, okay? You need to get punished here more often so that you end up learning this lesson because pain is one of the greatest ways we as human beings will learn.